guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Tiffany and this is Small Town Six. I'm a mama of four kiddos and I have two fur babies named Sadie and Zoe. And I also have a little hamster named Ed and I am married to my husband Ryan, if you are new here. Or if you're coming over today from Kat's channel, welcome. So nice to have you here. Um, I hope you will consider subscribing. Love to have you here in our family in this little nook of YouTube. Um, but today I am doing a collab with my friend Kat from Southern Farm and Kitchen. Kat is fantastic. She's hilarious and I just love her. She has some really, really amazing recipes that she could put Paula Dean to shame with some of the food that she cooks. She cooks a lot of Southern food, really yummy stuff. I'm pretty sure my family would prefer her food over mine if I made a lot of the stuff that she cooks. Um, but you will love her. So when you get done watching my video, please go check her channel out if you aren't already subscribed to her. I'm sure a lot of you are. Um, she's fantastic. And her husband is real sweet too. His name's Bob. I'll link her channel down below in the description box. So you can check her out when you get done. Uh, what I'm bringing you this week, with, we're doing a collab on what's for dinner videos. So I'm just bringing you some um, really normal, simple, easy, budget friendly dinners um, because I'm a mom of four and that is how life is. It's easier if you do simple stuff and if you do a budget friendly that's even better. So um, actually what we're going to start this video with is tonight I'm doing a new recipe, something I haven't made before, something that just looks super simple. Um, my husband took lef leftovers to work. He's not a big taco fan. So I was wanting to spice up the taco evening and instead of just making basic tacos again, I was gonna try to make those little Mexican pizzas kind of like they do at Taco Bell and bake them in the oven. So I think that's what we're gonna do tonight because I've got some meat that I've already purchased. I'm just gonna use ground turkey. I'm gonna use two packs. I'm just gonna double this. So I'm gonna use two packs of the ground turkey for this. I've already got tortilla shells because if you've seen my grocery hauls, I always buy these and keep them on hand. I get these at all these because they're cheap and these are the whole wheat ones from the Fit and Active brand. We're gonna need cheese. I always buy lots of cheese in bulk because we go through stuff like crazy here with cheese. Um, we are definitely not dairy free at our house. We'll also need um, taco seasoning, which you can just get those little packs, or you can make your own. Um, when I don't have them, I'm, I just Google it on Pinterest and mix basically all the same stuff. It never quite tastes exactly the same, but it works if you're like not wanting to run out to the store and get those little packets. But I'm, So I've got just two packs of these. Just pick these up at Aldi's. They're like, what, 49 cents? Something like that. Um, I'm gonna use that. This recipe that I found is super simple. It's just basically on Pinterest and um, if I can find the link, I will. But they're using um, salsa con queso, which I guess would mean salsa with queso. I don't have any of that here on hand, so if you've watched my videos before, I use what I have. I don't rush out to the store and buy fancy, expensive ingredients. I just make do with what I have. And most of the time, it works just perfect. Um, so I'm going to use, like I said, this recipe didn't call for cheese, it just called for salsa con queso. I'm going to use shredded cheese and just let that melt since it's going to go in the oven anyway. And I'm going to just use salsa because that's basically the same thing. So all we're going to do is we're going to brown the ground turkey first and then when it's done browning and we're pink, then I'm going to mix in the taco seasoning with the amount of water that's on the packet, which on this case is two thirds a cup for each packet. So we'll do that and then we'll go on with the next set of ingredients and, and instructions. Super simple dinner and your kids will probably love it.
added a half a cup of salsa to each pan. If you're wondering why I'm using like two separate pans, because I'm making two of these, um, it's because I don't have my big pan anymore. I ruined it. So I'm using a half cup of salsa into each of these. That's all I've done. That's done. So we're going to preheat the oven to 350. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take three tortilla shells and we're going to layer it. We're going to put a layer of the meat with some cheese on it. It says to use like about a third a cup of the shredded cheese and a third a cup of the mixture. And then we're going to layer it again with another tortilla until you got three layers. And then on the top you'll just put some cheese. I guess you'll do it um, just a couple layers. So then you'll bake it for 15 to 20 minutes at 350 and that's pretty much it. Those are done. Those are huge. For all those gooey layers. That's the bottom. That's huge. Um, so my other kids decided they wanted tacos. So I just made regular tacos and gave them some watermelon with it. There we go. Add a little bit of taco sauce on top. Some avocado cut up. And this is Greek yogurt. It looks like sour cream. Mexican pizza. Look at that. Yummy. That's huge. Okay, I want to share with you a super easy dinner I came up with one evening when I was pressed for time and I only had minimal ingredients on hand. So it ended up being a huge winner in this house because I make a lot of Mexican inspired dishes. Um, but my husband gets tired of tacos all the time because I could eat them, like I said, in past videos every day. So this is actually, I'm pressed for time. My husband has to work midnight turn tonight. So. I'm going to throw all this in the instant pot. It takes about 15 minutes to cook. That's it. Super minimal ingredients, super easy. I'll show you what I have. Um, I'm just gonna keep it simple. So um, all it is, is you'll take two chicken breasts. I've got a big pack from Sam's that I just got. So two chicken breasts, um, two cups of quinoa, which I've got, one can of Rotel, one great northern bean and one chickpea um that's just because that's the beans i had that day you could use black beans whatever you want this ended up being a really great combo and then also um i used two and a half cups of beef broth because that's what i had on hand that day but i've got chicken today so i'm going to use chicken since i'm using chicken to cook with all you do is layer this in the crock pot i mean i'm sorry in the instant pot and i've already sprayed my instant pot because it's not a um it's not a non-stick pan, like, um, insert, which a lot of places sell those now. Um, so I just spray it with cooking spray and it works just the same. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just layer all this. I like to put, um, my insert in this though. I like to put the insert in there because it keeps the chicken, um, from sticking to the very bottom. So that's it. And it'll be super tender. All we'll do is cook this on the pressure cook button just the regular one for 15 minutes and that's it and this will be yummy i've also got some like taco shells or we bought these amazing chips let me show you we bought these chips these are the best chips i've ever eaten in my entire life i can say that we went through a whole bag yesterday the first day we bought them um these are queso chips so we'll pair the the food with that or else eat it in a wrap or um I've got some cheese dip to put on it too that I got from Sam's Club. I'm super excited to try. So let's go ahead and get this going.
we go. I'll just throw some cheese in with that. I'm going to put this on some nacho chips that I showed you, those queso chips, um, unless the kids prefer the taco shells. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this cheese dip that I got from Sam. This white cheese dip, been dying to try this. Um, several other YouTubers have this, so I finally picked it up. So put this on top. Okay guys, tonight I'm going to create something I haven't done before. I've made carne asada fries before. I've never done polo asada fries. I was gonna use grilled chicken, but my husband, we all fell in love with this chicken when we got from Sam's the other day. If you've never bought this chicken at Sam's, and I'm not sure if they sell it. I feel like Aldi sells something similar to it. Um, this tastes just like Chick-fil-A chicken. I'd prefer to use grilled chicken for this creative recipe because it's got the pickle taste to it, like Chick-fil-A does. But they all want me to use this, so I'm gonna use this instead of the grilled. Um, but I'm going to go back and get more of this at Sam's one day because we went through a whole bag, like one night for dinner. And it's really not that bad of macros if you're trying to watch like stuff. I mean, it's like, let's see. Yeah, it's only got 150 calories a serving, five grams of fat, but it's got 13 um, grams of protein but anyway and it says there's no added hormones steroids artificial flavors colors blah 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 if you guys are looking at that kind of stuff so I'm gonna use this tonight I'm gonna go ahead take easy way and use the already pre-made french fried potatoes um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this first and cook this and then we'll figure out what we're gonna throw together because I bought some cheese dip and I've got some tomatillo or something like that sauce and I've got avocado um or, I'm sorry guacamole so we'll create something fun tonight for dinner something another Mexican meal because that's my favorite so I'm going to bake at 375 for six minutes and then turn them over and bake for about an extra six minutes or so and we'll also cook the fries they'll take a little bit longer to do that Hey guys, here it is. I um, didn't get to show the whole pan because I got tied up doing stuff. Um, all I did was I layered the chicken on the fries after they both cooked separately. Got this white cheese dip. This is from Sam's Club. It looks, it's just like the white queso dip you get in a restaurant. And I melted it for like 25 seconds in the microwave and drizzled it over this. And I was gonna put this on it. My husband took it separate. This avocado sauce, salsa with tomatillo. I think that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong but um, drizzle that over top of it. Um, this wasn't as Mexican inspired as I was originally gonna do because this chicken is more like the Chick-fil-A chicken that you would buy, like, or you would get at the restaurant. So it was more like a, it put the queso on top of this and then we'll put the salsa on top of that. But my kids probably will not eat this, so I didn't drizzle it all over this. My husband took it for his plate to work and like also can put some regular salsa on top with it. but. Anyway, easy dinner. Your kids would probably love this. My kids love the cheese sauce, they love chicken, and they love fries. So super easy, nothing major. I just wanted to share it with you in case you need like a, just a quick dinner. Okay guys, tonight I'm sharing a super duper simple dinner. Um, this is one of my go-to things, like when I've been cleaning all day and I do not feel like cooking a whole big massive meal. This is my go-to and it's one of my favorites. Um, what I'm gonna cook is, chicken just like hibachi chicken um if i had my wax stone fired up i would use it but i'm just going to use the stove today so all i'm going to do is i am going to take a pack of chicken i'm not going to show this part on film because it's just gross cutting all this nasty stuff off and you guys know how to cut chicken i'm sure by now so i'm going to use my cutting board if i haven't shown you that before it's got all these little inserts i got this off of amazon um I do want to do an Amazon video soon. I just haven't had the time to sit down and actually go through all the Amazon stuff. Um, but I get very budget friendly things for my kitchen because I'm constantly in here and I don't like to spend a lot. So this is one of my favorite things. Um, these inserts just change out so you can wash them. And if for some reason they would ever, you know, get really, really terrible, I can just get new ones. But 
this thing will stay good. I mean, my problem was all the cutting boards I always had, I would like scrape them all up and this part would be ruined and I'd have to get new ones. So anyway, enough talk about that. I'm going to cut the chicken up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this chicken up into like small pieces, into like cubes. And then I'm also going to make the rice in the instant pot, which I have a humongous container of rice. If you didn't see my Sam's Club haul where I got like 30 some pounds of rice. <laughs> um, I'm going to make some rice, but for, for me, I'm going to make my other rice because I'm just trying to get more vegetables in and the kids will fight me if I give them cauliflower rice. Sometimes I can hide it and stuff, but sorry, this is all messed up. I got this at Sam's. I showed in my haul too, and I've told you guys a million times, I will buy either take regular cauliflower if it's on sale and I will process it in a food processor and I will just freeze it or freeze it frozen like in the big or big cauliflower pieces and I will just freeze it and then when I need to use it I will just pull my processor out and I will process it and like make it into the pieces and then I've showed in a previous video where I microwave that and how to do that make your own rice cauliflower so it saves you money but honestly the big bag um, of cauliflower rice has like six little bags in it wasn't expensive at all at Sam's but in the grocery stores, it could be $3 for a little bag, and that's just nonsense. I can buy a 98 cent bag at Walmart and chop it up myself and make the exact same thing. That's all it is. It's just processed, it's just chopped up. So, for tonight, I am going to do this. I'm going to steam the cauliflower, and this, this stuff's really good. Um, and I'm going to make the basmati um, rice for the kids. I'm going to cut up the chicken, and then this was on sale at Sam's. So. I am going to put this in the oven and cook asparagus. I like, we like the end pieces, that part, that's softer. I don't really like that part because it's so thick. So I'm going to pop that in the oven at 425, put a little bit of olive oil on it and some garlic powder and just let it cook until it's like tender. Probably about, eh, probably about 20 minutes. I'll have to watch that. This I'm just going to chop up. I'm running low on time, so I'm just going to cook it on the stove top. Um, instead of in the oven because of the fact you can cook it in the oven if you want to make this you can cut up with the chicken put it in the oven at about 425 depending on your oven and cook it for about 45 minutes um, but I had an accident with it the other day left it on I was working out in the basement and my son forgot to tell me and I burnt the chicken to crisp so you gotta make sure and watch it so 45 minutes in the oven at 425 or on the stove you can just cook it and I like to add garlic powder on top and onion powder and sometimes a little bit of pink Himalayan salt um, and that's really all the spices I put in it I keep it really simple and I melt coconut oil um, to cook it in and I just like the, the way that is then I'll show you what we'll put on it it's my favorite this G Hughes um, sugar-free oh no that's all we got left um, yum yum sauce we use that and we'll pour it over top of the rice and the chicken and make the little bowls. Um, so it's really, really good. So we'll have to use that sparingly because I didn't know we were running that low on it. Um, my kids don't really care if it's sugar free, but I just like to take a little bit of the extra added sugars out if I can avoid it because I like to get my, <laughs> if I'm gonna have sugar, I don't want it to be in my yum yum sauce or my barbecue sauce or things like that. I'd rather have it in like sweets. So anyway, let's get started. Do this. Just a super simple dinner. I just wanted to share with you guys because that's real life. Every night of the week, I don't make huge casseroles and huge productions of meals. It's mom life, home life, and I just make simple stuff too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my cups of rice, however many you're doing. I'll probably do three because we're going to have the rice and the chicken. I've already sprayed my instant pot. This is just my easy way of doing it. You can do instant rice, you can do microwave rice, you can do whatever kind of rice you want. And then all we're going to do is add the same amount of uh, chicken broth. Because chicken broth gives it flavor. I'm just using the kind from Aldi's. Same amount. I did three cups of the rice. I'm doing three cups of the broth. Then all we're going to do, take the lid, um, and then we're going to make sure to seal it. The top part needs to be sealed. Then pressure cook, 
and then I'm gonna do it for about eight minutes. And then I will let it naturally like release the pressure for the same amount. And that's it. And then the rice will be done. There's dinner, there's the rice, there's the chicken, and there's the asparagus, and I just topped it with some of that sugar-free yum-yum sauce. Easy, yummy dinner. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some dinner ideas, um, simple stuff, and I hope you will give me a big thumbs up. If you enjoy this type of content, say hey in the comments down below. I love to hear from my subscribers. I like to get to know everybody. Um, we're a friendly bunch here, and I just, I appreciate every one of you stopping by watching my video. I appreciate all the love and the support I get from you guys. Um, you know how much it means. And um, just I hope you'll subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you're coming over from Cat's channel, thank you so much. Hope you'll stick around and subscribe. And if and I'll also leave down in the box, like I told you at the beginning of the video, uh, Cat's channel, Southern Farming Kitchen. That way you guys can go check it out, give her some love, tell her I sent you. And I will see you guys next time. I appreciate it. Bye.